I'm Charlie, and this is I'm Mac. This is Mac. We're, we're half of instinct. We're half of instinct. Um, we're here to talk about, I guess, the band and our latest single, Ride. Beautiful, guys. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. Thank you. Thanks for having us. All right. So, as you mentioned, you, Instinct recently released the single, Ride. So, tell us, tell us a bit about the song. Um, well, the song came about with me. I was, I was um, just jamming away in my room on the acoustic guitar, and um, I was just, I was just kind of trying to think of, think of like you know, good hooks and stuff, and. And I came up with the pre-chorus for for Ride, which was just say, yeah, it's a long time coming and it's coming to me. Like, and um, and that kind of just went from there. I just wrote this whole sort of very radio rock thing in all of about 20 minutes, brought it to the boys, and it was pretty it was pretty organic. Like there wasn't really much much thought reckon, that was put into it. I reckon it. you played it once and then we played through it twice and that was the song. That was pretty much yeah, it. Right. Yeah. And it's basically just it's just a cool pub rock type of track, man. So how do guys as young as you get that old school rock flavour? Um, I get it from the old man. He listens to a lot of um Kiss, Motley Crue, Wasp, like all the eighties, like seventies through nineties hair metal. Yeah. Um and then I sort of took that, blended it with a bit of Zeppelin, a bit of whatever, and then you're more sort of Oasis, um, Jim Morrison, I sort of shit more inspired by frontmen and I'm more, yeah, I, I, I have a thing for, for front men and, and the fascination about those people and, and what's, what sets them apart from, from other people. And I think, I think trying to recapture just that, um, you know, that, that vintage rock. The rock and roll lifestyle. Yeah, the rock and roll. The, the lifestyle and, and the whole, um, everything the that persona. goes. Yeah, the persona and the whole vibe that goes with it. So, yeah. The press release says that Ride brings together your various eclectic personal influences. So, what are some of the personal influences in the band and how do you refine that into your own sound? Yeah, um, so uh, like Max said, he's 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 into um, Zeppelin Ze Hendrix. Zeppelin yeah. Hendrix. Anything with a backbeat really. Yeah, and and um, Michael and Michael and Shiloh both are kind of enormous guns and roses. Guns and fans. yeah, guns yeah. and roses. A C D C Toto, um like plastic ADs rock. Just and then just plastic fucking punchy shit. And then yeah. I'm kind of all over the shop, but my mainstays are like, um, you know, I love the Doors. I love Oasis. Is like my favourite band. Um, who else? There's Silverchair. Oh, it, Silverchair um, in excess. Um, you know, all the all the all the good all the good ones. Mm -hmm. And the press release sort of it compares the song to being akin to Grimspoon jamming out on an Oasis track while Dave Grohl listens on. Like it's pretty impressive getting all those three on one track. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, who, who, where where did you read that again? That was in your press release, bro. That's what they called it. Oh, right. Is that what? Oh, is that what they wrote? Fuck. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> that's what, a lot to live up to. That, that is a lot to live up to, actually. How are you gonna I go? <laughs> It's a big thing to be compared to, though. Like you got some fucking classic bands there. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, for sure. It's definitely a, it's definitely a good, um, it's definitely good. I, I, I find that that comparison very interesting. I must have missed that part of the press release. <laughs> I hope I didn't make it up and just say it was in there. <laughs> no, 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 you're right. <laughs> and the music video is also your first ever, and basically just has you guys jamming on the beach. So how much fun was that actually? That was real fun. It was real fun. The, clean, the cleanup wasn't so fun. <laughs> yeah, we had to. We had uh, what we had to lug ahead. It was it was about the meters from the car park, all over sandy and fucking muddy terrain, all the way down to this beach, um, and then set up and then played through for about three hours of filming, and then back up, cleaning the sand out of my drums, cleaning the sand out of the guitars. There was just sand. Every, there's still sand in the back of my car now. This is unbelievable. There's sand fucking everywhere. Oh, I take it you won't be doing the next thing a lot of beach then. Probably, Probably not. not. Yeah. <laughs> We've learned our lesson on that. No, we time. definitely learned our lesson. Yeah. <laughs> so is Ride a standalone single, guys, or is it part of a bigger picture? Is Ride a standalone? At the, uh, at the moment, we've got another one coming out soon. That's not um, we're not going to name yet, but there's um, we we recorded them both uh, back to back. We do it. We do all our singles pretty much back to back, so we can have one that's you know prepped on the release pretty much on the release schedule straight away, mm -hmm. and then another one that on the back burner. So then we can just focus on doing other stuff. Um, we record with a guy called Lindsay Gravina at a place called Birdland. Um, and he's worked with like Thirsty Merc, Magic Dirt and a whole other uh, back, way back in the day birthday party. So, yeah. 
What's that? Sorry. What, what direction does the next one take? Uh, um, it's pretty much the you know, same, 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 but different. Like I think it's more. I imagine, think... imagine ride but shuffle. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> ride but swung. Right, sounds good. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So, go a bit of history on you guys, man. Like, Instinct started life as a band when you were in high school. So, tell us a bit about your history. Uh, let's just take a seat here. Um, we're yeah. actually in our studio right now. Yeah. Cool. Um, a bit of a hike to get there. Um, I'll let Max start on the... Uh, yeah. start? Um, uh, so, it started with myself, Michael and Shiloh way back when, probably 13, 14. Um, we were playing in the same footy team and sort of got talking about music and worked out we all played instruments and then... Um, got jamming, went through a various selection of different lead singers um, and then stumbled across Charlie or Charlie stumbled across our old cover band on Instagram probably April 2019. Um, I had an audition, a couple of rehearsals together and then thought, yeah, this is cool. So uh, ended up leaving the cover band behind, formed Instinct and we actually had a deadline from when we formed the band to our first gig was six weeks. Um, we were opening for Reese Maston um, at the Public Inn in Mornington and that was interesting. Um <laughs> Yes, yeah, so we had a deadline. We needed a half-hour set within within six weeks, and we got it written out, which was pretty good. Um, and yeah, it's just sort of skyrocketed from there to what we are now. Oh, so like you were pretty young back when you started. So how has your how have your goals, I guess, and, and your vision for the band changed from back then to now? I think um, I think they've changed well, 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 while we've been going with this lineup. Like yeah. I mean, we we were definitely always thinking about you know. World domination. Every, every band, every band wants to go big in the end. Don't yeah, they? yeah, yeah. But <laughs> I think it became more serious probably after the lockdown, after twenty twenty, and we were like, I, I definitely delved more into the idea of not only being a big band, but the biggest band, the, the band that yeah. we in the world. Like, and we and we've been pretty. Um, yeah, you know, I think I started chanting that mantra around the boys, and then they all kind of caught on at the same. Yeah. It was really cool to see. Like, like I, it wasn't just me kind of just being like, "Hey, we're going to be the biggest band in the world." And then after <laughs> it, just one by one, they're all kind of, we're all kind of like in the end being like, "They're like, oh yeah, we're all going to be. Well, like, we're all was, great. Was, like, we're all sick. We're the I best. Probably, fucking greatest. Like, I, I reckon I was probably the last one to come around. But yeah, I reckon. Yeah, but no, that that, 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 that that's, that's the end goal. Much. But probably yeah. over the next few years, probably some kind of international tour. Um, whether it's a tour across America, across Europe, um, definitely an Australian tour in the next sort of year or so would be um, the goal. But yeah, just as far as as much as you know, if whatever as you far, can, as whatever far you as can, you can take whatever you it. whatever you can dream, pretty much that's, that's what we want it all. So yeah, stuff goes. All right, before we go, we'll just go back to your um, your next thing you got coming out again. Is there a rough time frame for that so people can keep an eye out for it? Um, no, I, I, I don't know if they're. I, I'd, I'd say probably towards the end of October. We'll say yeah. towards the end of October, may, maybe late November. There's yeah, nothing. There's yeah. nothing in 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 um in writing here. No worries, boys. All right. Well, thanks for your time today. It's been a pleasure getting to know you. And when you make it up this way, let us know. We'll catch up to several beers. Fuck Beautiful. No right. dramas, Chris. Yeah, as long as you pay for the flight up the Gold Coast. <laughs> And folks start to cut him down But they screamed every time I put on a show Far away from my hometown I know who I am and you'll know me too When the wheels touch down on the ground Take your head out of the sand and into the blue So you'll hear when I come around It's been a long time
Jangan